In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your Etsy seller account and get your store up and running. Now, this is going to be a step by step tutorial. So follow along and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Etsy.com. We're going to click on sign in in the top right hand corner. And if you've got an account, obviously you can already register, but I'm assuming most of you don't have an account. So I'm going to go to register and here we can register our new account. So enter in your email, first name and password. And if you want them to send you exclusive offers, you can check this as well. Okay, so now I've done that, we're now going to click on register. And that should then create our account and take us to the next step. It's then going to welcome us to Etsy. So we can go ahead and click on our name here. So you can see here is our public profile. And we're now going to start to create a store. So now I can go ahead and go to my profile icon in the top right hand corner. Now I can go to sell on Etsy. And then that will take us to this page here where we can reach millions of buyers in the UK and around the world. So click on get started. It will then take you through this process, which is fairly easy and fairly simple. But I'm just going to show you exactly what to do. So first you need to click on let's do this. And it's going to ask you what brings you to Etsy. I'm going to select here. I'm just starting to sell for the first time ever. I'm assuming that's what most of you are going to be doing as well. We'll then click next. Is there anything you'd like help with? So you can choose as many topics as you want here. And they're going to share with you resources which are going to help you with that. So Etsy are really going to try and help you become successful on the platform. I want help with, I don't know, branding. I want help with selling online and also packaging and pricing. And you can choose as many of these as you want. I'm now going to click next. You can also skip this section entirely if you don't want to get resources from Etsy. Now it's time for the fun part. We can now start our shop. So go ahead and click on this button and it will take you to this page here where we can now set up our shop. So first select your shop language. So in my case, that's going to be English. Shop country, again, in my case, United Kingdom. And in the shop currency, you can change this to whatever you want. Now, for me, I'm in England, but I don't want my shop currency to be in British pound because I want to make my shop available to everyone in the world. And a lot of people in the world recognize the US dollar as the main currency. So I'm going to change my shop to the US to USD. Now we're going to go ahead and save and continue. Now you don't have to change your shop to USD. If you just want to sell to like people locally, it might be better to keep it on your local currency. Now we need to go ahead and name our shop and you can change this. It says you can just draft a name now and change it later. So for the sake of the video, I'll just change it to knowledge base. You probably already have a name or maybe you have an idea of a name. If it's taken, you can just add something on to the end of it or you can choose something else entirely. So you can see knowledge base YT is available. So now we'll click save and continue. Okay, so now we need to create a listing. Now you can add photos about your item. You can do this now. You can edit it later. So it is up to you. If for right now, what you might want to do is just add a placeholder image. So I'm going to go to add photo and I've just downloaded here a picture. So if I go ahead and click on this, it's just a mock up image of like an ebook. It's not liking the dimensions on this because they want it to be at least 2000 pixels wide, but it is fine for just a mock up just for creating a store and getting used to Etsy. They also want you to add like every angles here, different details. If you've got a physical product, obviously you would need to take those photos. If you're using Etsy for digital products, then getting these are going to be much easier because obviously the photos will be digitally created. Now you can adjust the thumbnail if you want, but this looks fine for me. If you want to add a video, obviously you can upload one here with a maximum file size of 100 megabytes. But scrolling down even more, you've got the listing details and you want to then give this a title. So I'm going to title this and call it example digital product because again, this is a placeholder product and I'm not actually going to be selling this. About this listing, who made it? I did. What is it? A finished product. When did you make it? I'm going to choose here made to order. And in the category, I'm just going to type something like digital product, digital product in guides and how to's. So we'll run with that guides and how to's. That's fine. Now you can choose a primary color here. So I'm going to choose blue because the ebook is kind of like a blue color. And then we'll scroll down here. We're going to leave secondary color. And um, but for the renewal options, 
For the renewal options, I'm going to click on manual. Now each listing will be available for four months and then it will automatically renew, which will charge you 20 cents. If you want to manually renew it though, you can just choose this instead because your listing will be live for four months anyway. Now on product type, if it's obviously a physical item, you can choose physical. If it's digital, choose digital and then enter in a description. I'll just type in here an example digital product. You can go ahead and write a detailed description in here if you want to. Now scrolling down even more, again, you can add optional tags, shape, color, style, function, and you can enter in the price. So I'm going to make this product $10. One is the quantity, and then scrolling down again, we can now click on save and continue. Now obviously all of these settings are going to be different for each user depending on what you want to sell. Okay, so now it's going to say great job on your first listing. We can now add more listings in the bottom right or just go to do this later and because we can add more listings as time goes on. So now we need to confirm our email. You can do this now, you can do this later. It doesn't really matter. Um, but it's asking us to enter in our payment information here. So let's scroll down and this is going to be getting paid on Etsy. So I'm going to select the country which I'm in, which is going to be the UK. And my payment will be in Great British Pounds, even though people are going to be paying in USD. So Etsy will do the conversion for us. For tax purposes, what type of seller are you? Most of you are going to be individual. And then scrolling down here, we'll just enter in these personal information. And now we've done that, we can now enter in our banking information. Now your name does have to match your name that you've entered in on your profile. Enter in your bank name, sort code and account number. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now real quick. So now that's all filled in, we can now click on save and continue. So now that's all filled in, we can now click on save and continue and that will take us to the next step. We could not save your identity information. So let me just double check all of this. It says we could not save your identity information. So let me just check this for errors. Okay, so now we've done that and we've gone to the next step. Now we're going to actually have to verify our email. So I'm going to go to the email and show you that. So here is that email. All you need to do is click on confirm account and that will redirect you over to Etsy. And you'll probably get a page which looks like this, which says perfect. You've confirmed your email address and your account is all set up. Okay, so after you've confirmed that, I'm going to go ahead and just refresh this page. And it should recognize that we've confirmed our email. Now we need to go ahead and set up billing and they're just going to charge me 16 pence to my payments account. This is just a starter fee to list one item on Etsy. It's going to be 20 cents here. So I'm going to enter in my information here. After I've done that, I'll click save and continue. And now it's going to ask you to set up two factor authentication. I'm going to just choose SMS here, then click continue. Then it's going to have my phone number pre-filled in. Just make sure you change the area code. Then I'll send that code and I'll just type it in once I've got the message. Okay, now we can click continue and we've got some backup codes here, which I'm going to have to blur, but now we can open our shop. Okay, so now we're redirecting to the shop manager and here you can see a quick guide to getting your first sale. So now everything should be live. So now we're inside our shop manager. Now if we scroll down and go to our sales channels, we should see our shop. So we can click on this and you should see your shop here. Here you can edit things like the banner, you can edit your icon and we should be able to then list an item. So if we go to active listings here, here is our product, which is an example product and we can go ahead and add a listing in the top right hand corner here. If we just click on the settings cog and then click on view on Etsy, here you can see, here is your ex example product. It is live, it is a digital download, and there's your product. So at this point, we've got our Etsy seller account open, and we can now add products and start selling them. That's been the basics. I hope that helps you out, and I hope you can have some success selling on Etsy.